In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in NBA 2K24. This build came out to be an inside of the arc finisher with the top shade of legendary Kareem. Before we get into this build, do me a quick sec. Hey, man, like the video. Like the video real quick. No, we ain't going to like it. All right, that's fine. Hey, just do me a quick favor and subscribe to the channel real quick and turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss a single upload. I'm uploading bangers every single day, rare builds, you name it. I'm doing it, but let's go ahead and get started into this video. Do me a quick favor real quick though. Don't be toxic to each other, all right? Everybody love everybody and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on making this Kareem Abdul-Jabbar build. Kareem does not have his own NBA template, so we're gonna start from scratch. You're gonna create your own template so your first name and last name can be whatever you want. Your handiness, it does not matter if you choose left hand or right hand. I'm only choosing right hand because I am right-handed, so I want my, my player to be right-handed. Jersey number, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was jersey number 33, so it's only right that we choose jersey number 33 for this build. Once you have all that entered, you're gonna go ahead and press continue. Now that you're on your custom template, you're going to put it on center. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was a center. He was also seven foot two. So for your height, you're going to choose seven foot two. For your weight, you're going to drop your weight down all the way to 225 pounds. For your wingspan, go ahead and put your wingspan to seven foot 10 and click continue. Like I say in every video, before you comment on this build and say, oh, bees, you could have made a better build. I am only going for the top shades of players for that I'm choosing for this video. So for instance, I want the top shade of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to make the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar build. So let's go ahead and get started with close shot. We're going to put our close shot to a 96. Once your close shot is on a 96, let's go ahead and take a look at our badges. You got that fast twitch on gold, that master on Hall of Fame, the hook specialist and post fade phenom on silver, dream shake on bronze, pro touch on Hall of Fame, and you got that whistle on gold. If you are confused about what some of these badges do, I will get to that in a minute. Driving layup. Let's go ahead and put our driving layup to a 68. Now that you got your driving layup to a 68, you got that slithery and bunny on bronze. You still have that pro touch on Hall of Fame. You got that two step on silver. Whistle is still gold. And as you can see down there in the bottom, you got that float game on silver as well. Driving Driving dunk. Let's go ahead and put our driving dunk on a 70. Driving dunk on a 70 gives you that silver spin cycle, which improves a player's ability to make spin layups or dunks. Standing dunk. You already know Kareem could yam that thing, buddy. So we're going to go ahead and put that standing dunk on a 90, which gives you precision dunker on gold. Precision dunker improves a player's ability to make skilled dunks. So this badge being on gold is actually OD. Post control. Now that we are on post control, let's go ahead and drive our post control up to a 95. And as you can see, you got all these Hall of Fame badges that came out of nowhere. You got that drop stepper on Hall of Fame, which improves a player's ability to effectively use drop steps in the post. Unpluckable on gold, which reduces the chances of getting stripped by the defender. 10 out of 10, highly recommend this badge. You got hook specialist, which improves a player's ability to make post hooks. You got that post fade phenom on Hall of Fame as well, which improves a player's ability to make post fades and hop shots. Post spin technician on Hall of Fame, which improves the ability of a post spin or drive to work effectively. 10 out of 10, recommend this badge. Dream Shake on Hall of Fame, which raises the chances of defenders biting on post fakes and increases the shot chance. Dream Shake is another OD badge, which is why this post control is on a 95. Mid range, we're gonna put our mid range to a 78, man. Now that you got mid range on a 78, your catch and shoot is on silver. Now that your mid range is on a 78, your catch and shoot, which is on silver, boosts the chance of hitting a jump shot immediately after a catch. Your dead eye and blinders are on bronze. Green machine is on silver. And you got a new badge that popped up to silver, which is open looks, which improves the player's ability to make wide open jump shots. For your three point shot, you're only gonna put your three point shot up to 36. It's not gonna go up high at all. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar cannot shoot threes. So let's go ahead and move to our free throw. We're gonna put our free throw to a 70. And that gives you free points on bronze, which increases the player's chance of hitting free throws in clutch situations. This badge right here won't mean anything in the park or pro M threes or in the theater, but it will be clutch for playing in the rec or playing in program fives. Pass accuracy, you're gonna put your pass accuracy to a 60. And as you can see, you get a couple bronze badges as well for that. You get dimer on bronze, post playmaker on bronze, relay passer on bronze, which is actually clutch because as soon as you start this build, all your badges go to bronze. So that's really amazing in my opinion. All your badges in NBA 2K24, you start off on bronze. Your ball handle, you're gonna put your ball handle to a 55. That didn't change anything. So let's go ahead and move the speed with ball. We're gonna put our speed with ball to a 28. That's not going 
high at all. So let's go ahead and move to our interior defense. Now that we are on our interior defense, let's go ahead and move it up to a 75. Once again, no badge changes. So let's go ahead and move the perimeter defense. Our perimeter defense isn't going high at all. So we're going to just put this to 35. Our steel is not going high either. So we're only going to put our steel to a 43, which also does not budge. You don't get that bronze interceptor badge. So let's go ahead and move to block. We're going to put our block to an 88, which gives you that silver anchor badge, which boosts a player's ability to defend and protect the paint. If you can somehow get this badge on gold or hall of fame, I highly recommend it. But if not, silver works just as good in NBA 2K24 with how the paint defense is. Offensive rebound, offensive rebound. We're gonna put our offensive rebound to a 75, to a 75. And once that's happened, you have bronze rebound chaser, which improves a player's ability to chase down rebounds. If you can get this badge any higher than bronze, I highly recommend it. That way you're not struggling getting rebounds. Defensive rebound. We're going to put our defensive rebound to an 88. And as I said, you should be able to get that rebound chaser on silver. Having rebound chaser on silver is pretty good, but if you can somehow get it on gold or hall of fame, I highly recommend it. Let's move to our speed. We're going to put our speed to a 51. And once again, that doesn't change anything with the badges. So we're going to go ahead and move to acceleration, put our acceleration to a 46 and as you can see spot finder is on bronze spot finder is a new badge this year which improves a player's ability to quickly get open off the ball strength we're going to put our strength to a 53 once again that didn't change any badges so we're going to go ahead and move to vertical we're going to put our vertical up to a 55 that doesn't change in badges either so we're going to go ahead and move the stamina and just max our stamina out to what it whatever we have left which is a 92 now that we have reached a 99 potential overall we have that workhorse on silver which increases a player's speed and ability to get loose balls over the opponent and to get the top shade of kareem abdul jabbar you have to copy down every attribute that you see in front of you you can change some things here and there to keep the top shade of kareem abdul jabbar but if you get too crazy with it you do lose that top shade of kareem so let's go ahead and click continue and move to our shades and see what shades we have now we have our shades of los angeles lakers raptors and new york nick and as you see right there you have the top shade of kareem abdul jabbar not only do you have the top shade of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you have the legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, which is that gold Lakers logo. You have a second shade of, bro, why do y'all always have to have hard names, bro? I can't pronounce that. Jacob Polti. Polti. Bro. And then you got the third shade of Mitchell Robinson and you have built a inside the arc finisher. This is the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar build. If you have any players that you haven't seen top shades of, make sure you comment them down below. I have a whole list of players that you haven't seen before that are uploading every single day. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Turn on post notifications because I'm literally posting every single day. If you made it this far into the video and you haven't liked the video yet, Make sure you drop a like for me real quick. And that's all I have for you today, man. As you can see, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, that's all I got. Yeah. I'm out. Peace. Talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving all my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the fucks I ever gave on my head.